Well, good morning, family, and welcome back to another Monday morning man a moment. I'm your chaplain, and it's spring break. And as we are resting and renewing, we're also thinking about the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Remember on last week, I was talking about the Great Commission. Jesus says these words, teach them to observe all things that I've commanded you and know that I'm with you to the very end of the age. Beloved, what a powerful challenge and charge for us. See, here we have what I call is one of the most powerful promises that's wrapped up in the commission of Christ. You see, as followers of Jesus Christ, it's the church's mission to both evangelize and make disciples, to preach the good news about salvation. We're also to help Christians grow spiritually. And this is what Jesus is getting at in this text. He says, teach people to observe all the things I've commanded you. Well, the question is, what has he commanded us? Well, that we ought to love our neighbors as ourselves. We ought to love the Father with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We ought to serve the poor, visit the prisoner, take care of the widows, heal those who are sick. We ought to be about spreading the good news everywhere and every place and every opportunity that we have. So, part of our calling here at Wheaton College is to equip students in the classrooms so that they can become better servants for Christ as they live for God in the earth. So, part of our challenge as we rest and reflect and renew this week is to remember the mission. Remember everything we've been taught this semester. Remember all the things we've covered since the, the the beginning of the school started, and then it's to go and to serve. So part of our mission in evangelism and discipleship is caring for the needs of those in our local churches, our families, our spheres of influence. That's what I call the commission challenge. See, when Christ comes back on that great and powerful day, he's going to ask us, family, what did we do for him? How did we serve him in the earth? It's where you and I will give an account of the deeds done in the Bible. Well, thank you so much for reflecting and resting this week. Let me pray a man of prayer over you now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, would you meet our family in every place that they are resting in today, in North America, the other continents, all the places where they are serving and resting right now, Would you renew us, refresh us, and then bring us back after break with a fresh perspective on how to bring you honor and glory and praise. That's our prayer today. Thank you for our beloved trustees, our administration, our faculty, our staff, and most of all, our most precious students. Smile on us today is our prayer. Allow us to rest well. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Well, beloved, I pray you are resting somewhere today, feeling his love. May the Lord bless you and keep you and bring us back at the next appointed time. I'm your chaplain. This has been a man of moment. I love you and I love serving for Christ in this kingdom. Have a glorious day. Peace.